Welcome to today's tutorial with the topic what is the asterisk or a star operator in Python. So in general um, we can say that there are six different meanings of the star operator. First we have multiplication, exponentiation, creating container types and three different applications in the world of unpacking um, container types. Okay, so let's dive right into them. So the first um, application is uh, multiplication. So we have, uh, for example, we want to print the result of 2 times 3. The result is 6. So this is the first application. It's very simple. We, the, the star operator uh, simply multiplies two numbers. And the second application is um, exponentiation. So we have uh, two, we want to calculate 2 to the power of 3, which is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. So we have uh, three twos and we multiply them. And the result is 8. Yeah, we have uh, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So these are kind of the two basic applications you probably already know of the asterisk operator. Okay, now the third uh, one is quite nice um, application of the star operator, which is uh, creating container types. So uh, an example is here: we have suppose we have a we want to create a list of uh, numbers and say number nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine, and now we want to have, for example, hundreds of those. Uh, um, elements in the list. So we simply multiply this list by 100, which means we have a list of 100 elements uh, with value 9999. So if we print this list, we get the result, yeah, a very long list of numbers. So this is a very concise way of create, creating list. Okay. Maybe you already you already knew this um, application of the of the asterisk asterisk or star operator as well. Now let's go into these three more interesting cases um, unpacking. So first of all, um, we can use the star operator to define an arbitrary number of positional arguments in a function. So how does that look like? Suppose we have um, a function. Um, average, def average, and the function has um, you. For example, suppose we have two values, value one and value two, and now we return the um, sum of value one plus value two divided by the number of values, which is two point zero or two, um, and now we calculate the average, so we print out the average of um, maybe 10 and 5, it should be 7.5, let's see whether this is the case, yes, so this is uh, the result is 7.5 here. Um, okay, now this is a, uh, this function is not very general, it calculates the average of two values, but what if you want to calculate the average of um, an arbitrary number of values? So this is a bit more uh, advanced uh, method now. We want here we don't want to restrict ourselves to two values. And how can we do this? By using the asterisk operator. We define a um, variable called args, and we use this asterisk uh, asterisk star, which is which kind of unpacks the value of the arguments in the list and. Um, uh, yeah, now we can um, suppose we so now we can use this variable. It's uh, we can use it in the in the function much like you would use any other list. So it is basically I think the type of the um, of this um, variable is a list basically. So we will we will see this in a moment. Um, Again, now suppose we calculate the, uh, the average as the sum over all values in the list using the, the built-in Python sum function. 
divided by the length of the list because the number of elements yes okay so now and what happens if we want to print the average of um, suppose the same two values now we should get the same result yeah you can see that the result is 7.5 and now we can also see the um, I have to. You cannot see it. So okay, now you can see it. Uh, okay, so the result is the same, and um, we also print printed the type of the variable args, uh, which is a tuple. So if we by defining it here, um, basically here we um, give we specify the arguments in unpacked form because I mean, if we would pack it in a tuple, for example, like this, then we would have to write another bracket around these two values but we don't give this basically we don't we only give um, the values in a raw form format so they are not packed in uh, within a um, container type and um, specifying it like this um, yeah and now basically the um, the asterisk or star operator just packs these values together in the in a new tuple data type and now we can access this tuple data type as we would any other tuple in, in, in the function. So this is a third application after multiplication, exponentiation, we can have an arbitrary number of arguments using the star operator. Okay, so what else um, is there? So we can also, uh, so now we have, uh, yeah, we have also have created container types, so this was already the fourth um, application of the star operator. Now we can also define an um, arbitrary number of keyword arguments with the uh, um, star operator, but only if we use it two times. Um, so what are keyword arg arguments? Um, so let me think about an example. Um, suppose we have the function function likes and the function takes some keywords arguments and um, maybe we can do the same here we print the type of the keyword arguments I will explain it to you in a moment and um, okay so now what we are doing here we we are um, um, creating a new variable quarks and we use two times the star operator uh, so it basically unpacks the um, so maybe I show you first I first show you how to how we would use this function okay so so now if we call we could call the function like this we have um, a keyword argument and a keyword argument is nothing but um, an a functional argument uh, which is restricted, uh, which is defined by a certain keyword. Now, suppose the keyword is Alice, and um, suppose we want to have later we want to get the output Alice likes Bob, and Bob likes Anne, and um, suppose Anne likes Alice. <laughs> okay, so now we have um, we have this function call. We um, uns uh, so uh, different to the example above here, we have positional arguments, which means that we uh, define the arguments in the function without giving a keyword for this argument. But here uh, we define the arguments as well, um, uh, but first we specify the keyword of each argument, so they are not positional. We could, we could also uh, kind of um, copy or cut out this keyword and put it here, for example, it's really the order of the argument doesn't matter here because we specify the keyword. Okay, and um, how can we catch this uh, in our function likes? Um, we do this with this quarks uh, variable um, and uh, uh, prefixed by the two asterisk operators. And um, yeah, so we, if you print out the type, we would see that it, uh, it's basically a dictionary, I guess. Um, yeah, now we can define, uh, we can iterate over all keys in the keyword argument uh, dictionary. Um, so we have a mapping from the keywords to the um, uh, from the keys, which are the keywords here, to the values. 
And now we go over our keys in the dictionary, uh, which should be Bob, Alice, and Anne, and then print out that the key, which is a string, likes the value, which we get by accessing the dictionary with our key. Okay, so what is the result of this function? Yeah, we have uh, this behavior. Bob likes Anne, Alice likes Bob, and Anne likes Alice. So, um, yeah, so this is a fifth application of uh, the star operator. We can use it uh, to um, package the keywords in a dictionary, into a dictionary that can be used within the function. Okay, now the last uh, application is to unpack a container type, e.g. a dicti dictionary. Okay, so now I have an, um, let's think about an example. Um, okay, I think a, maybe a nice example would be this. We have uh, two dictionaries, uh, say dig1, which is a mapping from Bob to Anne. Then we have uh, a mapping from Alice to Bob. Okay, then we have a second dictionary and suppose this dictionary uh, yeah, contains the values a mapping from Anne to Alice. So Anne likes Alice and Alice likes Anne. So now they are happy. Um, uh, maybe now this maybe let 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 us change the value here. Say Pete likes Anne. Okay. And now um, the unpacking operator basically does. Uh, so if you use it like if you print out the Unpacked. So if we print first, let's uh, let's print out the first dictionary and see what happens. Okay, we print out the dictionary and we get the result as expected. Yeah, we have uh, Bob. The value Bob is assigned to value N, and the value Alice is assigned to value Bob. Um, okay, but as you can see, um, the res the printed result is a dictionary itself. So we print a um, string repre representation of this dictionary. Okay, and now we also can unpack the values in the dictionary, which means we kind of we remove the wrapper container type, which is the dictionary, and um, uh, specify only the results of the uh, only the content of the dictionary, um, and get only the content of the dictionary. Okay, so this is not Bob is an invalid keyword argument. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, basically this doesn't, doesn't make sense. We have to, I have to give you another example. Um, okay, so suppose we want to create um, a dictionary, now a dictionary out of those two dictionaries. How can we do this? We can unpack all the values of dictionary in dictionary 1 and all the values in dictionary 2 and create a new dictionary out of those values. So basically, the problem here, I wanted to print, uh, uh, so I wanted to unpack all the values into the print function, and um, if we do this, we, we we kind of call the print function with the keyword argument um, Bob and Alice, and of course the print function does not know this uh, the keyword arguments Bob and Alice, so it's kind of uh, clear that it has to throw an exception. Okay, but. Um, Still, unpacking is useful. For example, you can merge two dictionaries, like here, dictionary one and dictionary two. We have uh, we simply unpack the values of the dictionaries into the new dictionaries, uh, uh, into the new dictionary. And if you print the new dictionary, we get the result of um, all four uh, key value pairs in the new dictionary. Okay, so this was the fourth application of the. Um, uh, asterisk or star operator in Python. Um, okay, see you next time.
thanks for listening to this video. If you struggle with uh, Python and um, need some support, then I would recommend you to subscribe to my email list. I will give you the link below. In my email list, uh, we have a lot of fun. We are doing weekly coding contests, and um, I will show. I will give you regular um, tutorials about different all the various Python topics. It's kind of my goal is to to um, uh, make learning accessible in your coffee break. So uh, I want to keep the lectures dense and um, to the point, so that you can during your uh, during uh, drinking your morning coffee you can learn something about Python every day. And uh, yeah, over time you will become really a much better coder. And uh, I would highly recommend that you subscribe to my email list. Uh, my subscribers love it. Um, check it out.